Poughkeepsie. You're from Poughkeepsie. Tell us about your city. We're not from here. Tell us about this area. Is this a very safe neighborhood? It's not a safe neighborhood. It's not good. Poughkeepsie. Is Poughkeepsie a safe neighborhood? Is this a, 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 a neighborhood where there's no drug dealing here? There's no gangs here? Tell us about Poughkeepsie. Okay, so you're not from here. Read this scripture. Get Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. We're going to read this scripture. You tell us what you hear in this scripture. Does that happen here, all right? Listen to this. This is the book of Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it out. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The Bible says, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. The children of Israel are you blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. That's your God-given identity. The term today, African American, Hispanic, Puerto Rican, those are man-made names. But the question is, what's your God-given name? The answer to that is the children of Israel. When you open the Bible, you're reading your history. Watch this. Read on. Because there's no truth. No mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. The Bible says because there's no truth. No what? No mercy. It says there's no mercy. Come on. No knowledge of God in the land. No knowledge of God in the land. Now let me ask you a question. Here in Poughkeepsie, is there truth here? Do brothers show their brothers mercy here? Is there love for one another here? You say, somewhat, somewhat, give me Leviticus 19, verse 17. You say, somewhat, what do you say? How long have you been in Poughkeepsie? Okay, a year is long enough. A year is long enough. So in Poughkeepsie, is this a neighborhood where blacks and Latinos respect one another? Okay. There is some respect out here. Got you. Read this. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Read it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. The Bible says, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. That's a commandment from God. God says, do not despise your brother in your heart. The heart represents your mind. Read on. Thou shalt in any way rebuke thy neighbor. The Bible says, but what you should do is rebuke your neighbor. Rebuking your neighbor is correcting him. Come on. And not suffer sin upon him. It says, and don't allow sin upon him. Don't suffer sin upon him. Sin is what? What is an example of some sins? What's sin? You said doing something bad. What's sin? Stealing. Okay. What? Give me first John chapter 3 verse 4. What's your name, by the way? Nuki. What's your name? Steve, watch this. First John chapter 3, verse 4 is going to explain what sin is. Because I, I want to make a statement. You ever notice in black neighborhoods, there's a lot of what? Churches, correct? But in these black neighborhoods where there's a lot of churches, why is crime so high? Oh, I know why. Because those churches are not teaching the commandments of God. Those churches are not teaching the commandments of God. How can you have a lot of temples, churches, in neighborhoods, but yet there's drug dealing, murder, stealing, rape, children born out of wedlock, fathers having sex with women, getting these women pregnant, and they're not raising those children? How can you have that in communities where there are churches? How could that be high? Why? Because churches don't teach God's laws. Listen to this. You said sin is doing something bad. Watch this, what the Bible says, Luke. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever commits sin, come on, transgresses also the law. It says you transgress the law, meaning you break the law. Watch this now, Nuki. For sin is the transgression of the law. The Bible says sin is the transgression of the law. Now, Nuki, I have a question now. Steve, I have a question. Give me an example of God's laws. What are God's laws? What are God's laws? Give me an example. I mean, I 
Don't commit murder. Nuki, give me an example. Said no lying. What else? I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to match the question. Do you know anybody? Do you as well? Do you know anybody that has children but he's not taking care of? Got a few women pregnant, or maybe got a woman pregnant, but he's not taking care of that particular child. Do you know anybody like that? Do you know of anybody like that here in Poughkeepsie? You say no. Read this. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. Listen to what God's law says. Are there men that have children here that don't take care of them in Poughkeepsie? You said it could be. It could be. Watch this. Read this. Read this. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. Bring it out. But if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house. The Bible says if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house. Come on. He has denied the faith. The Bible says he has denied the faith. Come on. And is worse than an infidel. It says, and is worse than an unbeliever. So here's my question now. In Poughkeepsie, right? The Bible, we just read God's law. It says you have to provide for your own. Your own represents what, Nuki? Your kids. Very good. Now, can I do that by selling drugs? Is that okay? Why you say no? Very good. Give me Romans chapter 13. When we, once we arrived here in Poughkeepsie, you know what we saw? A whole lot of needles on the ground. A whole lot of needles on the ground. A whole lot of needles mean what? Drug activity. And not too long ago, you had the FBI raid Newburgh and arrest 14 people selling drugs, selling weapons, operating out of Poughkeepsie and Newburgh. Well, new tonight, 14 gang members and associates from Newburgh and Poughkeepsie are facing racketeering, narcotics, and firearms offenses. The announcement comes from the U.S. Attorney's Office, and as News 12's Blaze Gomez has been reporting throughout the day, federal agents and police officers raided at least four locations in Newburgh last night. Neighbors hit record in shock. As FBI agents and police were seen and heard executing an arrest warrant Wednesday night at the Lake Street apartment complex in the city of Newburgh. We have viewer videos of FBI and police in full riot gear alongside military style tanks on Broadway and William Street. FBI confirmed they were in the city and state police say they were there as part of a federal investigation. Taking somebody out. Authorities say that the 14 ran open air drug markets and engaged in shootouts in the middle of the day and doing whatever it took to control the streets. And best believe they were black and Latino. That's right. These are the things that happen. It's not just Poughkeepsie, Newburgh, Schenectady, Albany, New Orleans. What you will find and what you will notice is where you find black people, there's a high crime rate. Is that true? Yes. Why? Because we're not keeping God's commandments. Watch this. Read this. This book of Romans chapter 13 verse 1. Bring it out. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. God says let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Meaning what? Obey the law. Come on. For there is no power but of God. But the Bible says the real power belongs to the Most High God. But why do you find a lot of black men ending up in jail? Why are a lot of black men ending up in jail? The prisons are filled with what races of people? Hispanics and blacks. How is that possible? How is that possible? Brother, do you agree with that? Do a lot of, are a lot of prisons filled with Hispanics and blacks? Why? What are they doing? You say what? But okay, okay, but look, why are they taking this in? Ma'am, how you doing, ma'am? Are a lot of prisons filled with Hispanics and African Americans? Why is that? You say racism? So, 
do you think the majority of those Hispanics, Nuki, this is for you too, do you think the majority of those blacks and Hispanics that are getting arrested are innocent? Do you think most of them are not committing a crime at all? Watch this, read this, Isaiah 42, verse 22. The Bible says to keep the commandments of God. That's right. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Listen. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. Bring it out. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Are blacks and Hispanics robbed and spoiled? Yes, we are robbed. They stole us from West Africa. That's right. We are robbed of what? Our language. What was our initial language? Hebrew. They stole that. What was our initial heritage? The Jews. Black people here in Poughkeepsie are the real Jews. That's right. They stole that. They stole our land of Israel. Right. They stole that. When I say they, who am I referring to? The white man. That's right. We're not African. We are the Israelites of the Bible. We're the sons and daughters of the living God. Right. Read this. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. This is not talking about Chinese people. Chinese are not robbed and spoiled. Read it again. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. This is not talking about Caucasians. Caucasians are not robbed and spoiled. Read it again. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. We came into Poughkeepsie not with our own words. We're reading the words of God. Read. They are all of them snared and whole. The Bible says now the Israelites, the Jews, are snared in holes. What's a hole? A trap. For example, you walk down the street and I set up a trap, a ditch, that you didn't realize you fall into the ditch. That is called a trap, a hole. What are the holes, the traps in society that blacks and Latinos end up. Drug dealing is a trap. Do you know? Right, right. The trap house. Why do a lot of black men turn to selling drugs? Because they go out looking for jobs. Not all of them. Some of them don't look for jobs. They go out looking for jobs. They don't get hired. Then what do they end up doing? I'm going to join and make the same decisions of the knuckleheads right around me. And where do you end up when you make those decisions? In jail. Right. Is that the truth? Yes, it is the truth. Read it again. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. We are snared in holes. What's another hole black people are snared in? It's called religion, Christianity. That is a trap. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Well, yeah. Brother man right here, who's this, sir? Who's this? Who's this? Who do they say that is? Jesus. I'm going to ask y'all a question. Have any of you ever seen a Bible scripture that says Jesus Christ is Caucasian? Ma'am, yes. you said yes. yes. What, what scripture? Uh -oh. The last book of the Bible. The Revelation. Revelation. So in Revelation, it says Jesus Christ is Caucasian? Oh, you thinking now. Be like, oh, yeah, I made that up. I, I did make it up. Let me ask you a question. Did you ever read a, a, a verse in the Bible that said Jesus Christ is Caucasian? Show the cars, because I know the cars are listening. I don't care how high the windows are rolled up. They hear this. Have you ever read a scripture in the Bible that says Jesus Christ is Caucasoid, is Caucasian? What about you, Nuki? What about you, Steve? No. Ma'am, you said no, right? Nobody has ever read the scripture, but guess what? The world believes that Jesus Christ is Caucasian. Hold, hold Isaiah 42, 22. Put that down. Let's read Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Now, we're going to get the biblical description of Jesus Christ out the Bible. All these churches here in Poughkeepsie 
ask the pastor, pastor, what color is Jesus Christ in the Bible? Challenge them. Because for years, they taught Christ is Caucasian. With what proof? Bring it out. Zero. 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 What is that called? White supremacy. Now, let's read the biblical description of Jesus Christ. So all of y'all, write this down. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. No, verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. What race of people have woolly hair? Black people. Very good. Read. As white as snow. It says his hair was woolly. It was white. It said it was woolly and it was white. So black people have woolly hair. Black people have woolly hair. Black people have woolly hair. Come on. And his eyes were the flame of fire. The Bible says his eyes, the whites of his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read on. And his feet. Now what book are we reading? The King James Version. The Bible describes Christ's feet. Read. And his feet. And his what? His feet. And his what? His feet. And his what? His feet. Who are we talking about? Jesus Christ. That's right. Peace. That's right. Like a divine bread. What color is brass? B R A S S. What color is that? Brown. But now look what the Bible says. Read. As if they were burned. As if they what? Burned. As if they what? Burned. You ever had burnt chicken? All you black people know what I'm talking about. What color is burnt chicken? Black. What color is burnt white? Black. The Bible says Christ. Was like brass burned. Brass burned. Brass burned. What color is that, Nuki? What color is that? Look, he said, huh? He said, huh? We're showing you the color of Jesus Christ. You're not paying attention. Let's read it again for him. He said, what? Very good, very good. But why are you saying brown? When you burn rice, that's not brown. That thing is black. That's right. When you burn chicken, it's not brown. It's black. Don't be afraid to say black. Don't be afraid to be dark, right? Now let's go back to Isaiah 42, verse 22. Isaiah 42, verse 22. So what did Isaiah say? Isaiah taught and said, in his vision, I see the people of God snare in holes. The people of God are you black people in Poughkeepsie. The people of God are you Jamaicans, you Haitians, you Latinos. You know why we got to add Latinos? Because Hispanics don't think they're black. Oh, no, you black. You Hispanics are black. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. Come on. But this is a people. What people are we talking about? The children of Israel. The children of Israel are you blacks, Hispanics, Jamaicans, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Salvadorians, Colombians. Read. But this is a people. Read. Robbed and spoiled. Are blacks and Latinos robbed and spoiled? Yes, we are. How are we robbed? It's called slavery. Read. They are all of them snared in holes. The Bible says they are all of them what? Snared in holes. Now, what's the hole in society? Religion. What's the hole in society? Education. What's Why? Wow. Because guess what? In the education system, what do we learn? Black people are from Africa. But they didn't teach you that you are the Israelites that fled into Africa. In religion, that's a trap. In your church, have any of you learned that you're the Israelites? No. 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 Read. And they are hid in prison house. Where are the people of God? Hid in prison house. Where are the sons of the living God? In prison houses. Read it again. But this is a people where they spoiled. You didn't know the scripture was in the Bible. Read. They are all of them sneered in holes. The Bible says that we are all stared in holes. What's the hole? Religion, education, politics. We and they are hid in prison houses. And where do black men end up? In prison, 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 prison. Why? Because you are doing illegal act. 
activity. As soon as we came to Poughkeepsie, we saw heroin needles on the street. As soon as we came to Poughkeepsie, we see the locations where there's prostitution. Get Leviticus 19.29. They don't read these laws in the church. Read this. This is what's going to separate us by keeping the commandments of God. Right. You brothers and sisters in Poughkeepsie, you are the sons and daughters of the living God. Yes. Read this. Yes. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. We're going to read a scripture they don't read in church. Read. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Nuki, is there prostitution in Poughkeepsie? Yeah. You best to believe it. What did God say? God said to you black men, God said to you black women, what? Read it again. Do not do what? Do not do what? Do not. God's law says, do not what? Prostitute thy daughter. So what happens when you prostitute women? That's how you spread disease. That's right. That's how you spread disease. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. It says don't prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore. What's a whore? A pimp can make her sell her body. What's a whore, Nuki? Somebody that sells their body. Now, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I'm a sh here's, here's, here's what I'm going to ask you. What is the solution for our sisters that sell their bodies, Nuki. Let says that while we're teaching, there may be some whores driving by, or in the passenger seat. Of course, a woman, most women are not going to say they're whore. No, they has no, I'm not. But there's some women when they hear that scripture say, "Wow, that's me." Listen, what's the solution, Nuki, or brother man right here? What's your name, James? Shame. What's the solution for a woman that's a prostitute? How does she change? What do you say, Nuki? Go get, but how? Can the Bible help a woman that's a prostitute? You say yes? Gotta stop doing it. What do you say? What do you say, uh, uh, shame? We need good parenting, that's true. Celibacy, yep, that's true. Let's get 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Look at this scripture right here. 1 Timothy 2 verse 9. Read this. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. Bring it out. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety. The Bible says that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What does it mean, modest apparel? Come up. What does it mean, modest apparel? What does that mean? Shame. What's modest apparel? What does that mean? What's shame face that clothes? Loose flow. What's what's shame face clothing? What's modest apparel? I would say just covered up neck to ankle or something. Yes. Like that. Yes. So, modest apparel means. That's what I said. So if any woman has prostitutes, because remember, people are listening, right? Brothers are listening. The Bible commands, right? It says women are to adorn themselves in modest apparel, meaning covered up, meaning a woman should not what? Show her what? Her body. Her body. Goods, exactly. Because her goods is for her, her what? Her husband. Very good. Read this again. In that manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety. With shamefacedness, meaning a woman should be shy. So, read it again from the top. I want y'all to listen to this, because remember what we said, there's prostitution in Poughkeepsie. So that goes for the pimp that's using the woman to sell her body, and that goes for the woman that's using her body. Watch this. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest means covered up. Black woman, Hispanic woman, God's law says that they should be what? Covered up. Covered up. No mini skirts, no cleavage, no belly buttons. 
That alone, if you apply that here in Poughkeepsie, guess what? Crime rate is gonna go down. Why? Because in this community, all the women are what? In order. This is the location where the women respect their bodies. You understand? Now to the pimp. How must he change, right? Get me Ephesians 4.23, and you coming out. The pimp, his mind is not right. Why? Because he's utilizing a woman to sell her body to make money. So his mind is not right. So the woman that's dressing out and she's having sex, her mind's not right. And the pimp, his mind is not right. Let's see what the Bible says here. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 23. 4, 23. But before you read it, let me ask y'all a question. Are there pimps in Poughkeepsie? Oh, yeah, y'all gonna act like there's no pimps in Poughkeepsie? You know there's pimps in Poughkeepsie. See, the sister's like, yes, yes. I know four already, right? It's the truth, though. It's the truth. There are pimps in Poughkeepsie. Listen to this. And be renewed in the spirit. Oh, but you know what it is? You know what it is? I know why a lot of you are quiet. Because y'all in Poughkeepsie, black people, you know what we say? No snitching. Yo, I ain't a snitch. I ain't a snitch. Snitches get stitches, right? Hold that, hold that. Right, read this, and then we're going to get Leviticus 5 and 1. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You hear what the Bible says? Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Brothers, black men, black women, you got to get your mind right in Poughkeepsie. All of us here, we had to get our mind right. We are the Israelites, according to the Bible. Right. We're the sons and daughters of the living God. Right. The reason why you live in crime-ridden communities is because of sin. If you want your community to change, you have to keep the commandments of God. Right. Read this again. And be renewed. The Bible says to so be renewed, meaning change. Read. In the spirit of your mind. You have to change your mind. Part of changing your mind, lift up that image right over there. Part of changing your mind is to accept that Jesus Christ, according to scripture, is a black man. Yes, Understand that. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. Oh!